it's always hard to spend Thanksgiving away from family and you know the girls always struggle with that a little bit but we try to create a family atmosphere and so we had a traditional Thanksgiving dinner catered to the hotel and we sat down and had a nice team meal and they got their turkey and their stuffing and cranberry sauce and all that good stuff so you know we definitely try to create that family atmosphere and so that kind of fills the void from them you know not being able to be with all of their family. We got through kind of the grind of our non-conference schedule. We played seven games, six of them on the road. So, you know, definitely not an easy non-conference schedule. And we did that on purpose. And, you know, we took some lumps here and there. Ended up coming out of it four and three. Um, you know, had some really good wins. Uh, you know, the one against UCSD at UCSD, they're very hard to play at home. And so, you know, we we're happy to come away with that. You know, on Friday, I wish we would have bounced back a little bit better on Saturday. But again, I think once we get healthy and get a little bit deeper rotation, that's going to help us in those, you know, back-to-back -back situations, which we won't really get into, you know, until March. But definitely a good experience for us. Um, two very good CCAA teams, and we really wanted to challenge ourselves. Non-conference, we're capable of, you know, beating anybody, but we're also capable of losing games, you know, that we, you know, at times maybe shouldn't. So we've, you know, kind of been able to see our weaknesses playing you know a lot of the better teams in the west region and you know they do they exploit those weaknesses and so now we know kind of what we need to work on going into what i consider a new season which is the pac west conference you know starting on saturday so we always talk about you know basketball it's not a sprint it's a marathon it's a really long season and so i think we've definitely learned a lot of lessons early on and like i said being able to play you know those top teams in the region and you know even with a couple losses you if you learn from the losses they can be a good thing nobody likes to lose and I'm really competitive, so you know I would have loved to have gone seven and zero. But sometimes a team needs to experience some adversity for them to really get to the point where you know they want to be. And so I think this team has tons of potential. We haven't even come close to reaching that yet. And we say potential is a big word, and I don't want to be the team that never fulfilled their potential. And so that's kind of where the lessons come in and the consistency comes in. And this team is still maturing and gelling. You know, and the chemistry is, it's getting a lot better. You know, offensively, I say, I'm not worried about scoring. We're focusing more now on defense and rebounding some of the other things that we can control. And so I think, you know, we're definitely growing as a team. You know, they're a fun team to coach. Frustrating at times, but I wouldn't trade them for anybody else's team. And, you know, I like where we're going to be. We're, you know, it's just the road getting there. So we started off the season really well. Um, the first couple of games, we really took away lessons from it. Um, defense is something that we still need to improve on. Our offense has obviously come a long way, um, and we're the chemistry between everyone. I mean, it's a bunch of returners, and then you add in a couple of new people, and it throws things off a little bit, um, but it's definitely more positive than it is negative, and just all of us gelling together right now. So, yeah. With, I mean, going into the pack was like, we want to win all of the games. We want to win conference for the third time in a row. Um, it's all definitely possible for us to do. Um, we have to go out and work hard and play hard defense. Like, I mean, we're not worried about offense at all right now. It's really like defense is our focus. Getting to the free throw line for me, it's if I just drive hard to the basket, I mean, I typically get the calls and, and I just find myself at the free throw line a lot. Um, they're free shots, so I try not to worry about it too much and like, I know that my teammates uh, have confidence in me and I have confidence in myself and I guess that's why I'm so su successful there. <laughs>